You started your career at 26 years old. You're the youngest coach in America. What advice would you give that man right now if you could talk to him? You know, I wouldn't make too many changes. You have to be understanding of the journey and you're going to make mistakes. I try to be true to my guys, you know, teach the game, recruit young guys with character, coach them up. And, you know, it's never as good as it seems. It's never as bad as it seems. So if you struggle and you have a bad loss, grind, break it down, take a very business-like approach, but never lose sight of the fact that this is not about me. It's about them and take care of them. There are some people that say that the player has changed so much, you've got to coach him differently that now than you did maybe five or ten years ago. Have you found that to be the case? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, I, I think if you recruit good kids, they'll play hard for you. They'll listen. They'll be coachable. Uh, there is a lot more put on them from a social media perspective that they have to deal with. Uh, the NBA puts pressure on them because they want you sooner, younger. So you have that. You have agents now recruiting guys for the NBA, but also just to shop them to other colleges. So these are things that they're dealing with that we didn't have to deal with before. But if you have young guys that just want to hoop and just want to be good players and be the best player that they can be and get an education, then that should be the focus. Yeah, that's awesome. In your, in your mind, what makes Iowa basketball Iowa basketball. What is the identity that you want everyone that watches the game to know about you guys? We're, we're going to play fast, but we play fast, we don't play nuts. Okay, so we push it on makes and misses, we attack. Uh, my guys play with a free and clear mind. I don't micromanage them. Trust your talent, go make plays. Move and share the ball. Uh, but we're going to keep coming. We're going we're to try to score in the 90s uh, and don't apologize for it. You know, high possession game, we might give up a lot of points. Hopefully we'll score more. A lot of times if you're playing that fast, you need to be in good condition. You need a deep team. You have depth this year, maybe more so than you've had in the past. How, how deep is this team this season? You're right. The deepest team we've had. We have a lot of different weapons. We have multiple three-point shooters. We have big wings. We're bigger than we were last year. Uh, you look at Connor, Chris Murray, and uh, Philip Robach played 3,000 minutes. That, that's a lot of minutes for your starting front line. Uh, one of those guys goes down, we struggle to get to the tournament, but they stayed healthy. This year we're way bigger, we're way deeper. Hopefully be able to apply a little more pressure defensively with a fresh lineup. Uh, but a lot of different weapons. It'll be interesting to see how we can get it all to work. Yeah, your newcomers, your freshmen, your transfer. Like, we have what, six new players. What do, they, what, do they, what do they bring? Well, you start with, with Ben Cricky, who's who led the Missouri Valley in scoring at, at just under 20 points a game. So 6'9", 245. Uh, 23 years old. That's a little different than than the freshman we have coming in. Evan Bronze was a starting center at Belmont. He's also 6'9", about 245. But the four freshmen are all incredibly talented. Two big guys, Owen Freeman, Laji Dembele, both are going to play. They're both really good. And then Mr. Basketball in Illinois, Brock Hardy, Mr. Basketball in Iowa, Price Sanford. This is a question that a lot of coaches are trying to answer right now. How do you catch Purdue? Well, you know, I think a lot of people will say, well, it starts with Zach Eady, and you could, you could argue that point, but they've got a lot of weapons. You know, teams have, have focused on shutting down Zach, and they'll make 18 threes on you. Uh, more of a veteran squad this year with young guards now being sophomores. But, uh, you know, Matt's always going to defend you. Uh, they're always going to fight you on the glass. Uh, great home court atmosphere. So you have to play a really good game against them. You've got to defend them, you've got to fight them on the glass, and you've got to be able to get up and down as much as you can. Uh, make Zach play defense, make him run, uh, but he's obviously in a great place in being a returning player of the year. Player of the year on the men's side, Iowa has the player of the year on the women's side. How would you coach Caitlin Clark? Exactly like Lisa does. <laughs> Give her the ball and let her make, make plays. Uh, I always laugh at the, I went to see them play Michigan. She had 38 at the end of the three quarters, and she's going to get 50. She had 11 assists in the fourth quarter because they were, they were coming after her. She just makes the right decision, so don't get in her way. <laughs> Let her do what yeah. she does. Did you ever consider asking her to come out for your squad? No, I think she's handling it uh, quite well. Uh, it's been fun to watch her 
get the recognition she deserves on, on such an incredible level. Uh, a lot of NIL opportunities have come her way, but she's never forgotten who she is or that she's a part of a program, and I'm excited for her. You've, <coughs> you've inspired countless players in your, your coaching career. Who, who inspires you? Each year, getting a new group of guys that are eager to succeed. That's what this profession is all about. You know, we, we, you graduate a first round pick, somebody's got to step in. Last year we graduated three key players and, and we got to replace those three guys. That's the challenge, that's the fun, that's the journey. Uh, and you try to establish a culture. We throw that word around a lot. What is culture? Well, culture is somebody leaves, somebody replaces them. You have character guys that care about each other, that play the game the right way, that compete at both ends and stay confident in, the, in themselves and their abilities. I stay positive with them and uh, want to be there at the end.